So in order to even begin a conversation that goes, well, we have to understand ADHD. You know, we have to pause often to let people gather their thoughts. We have to get people's kids full attention before beginning the conversation or making requests. We want to develop a conversational style, which I hope I've gotten better into today. So I, uh, you know, I hope I'm speaking at a pace people can follow, trying to cover a lot of information. But we want to keep things concise and pause a lot to make sure everything's being really, uh, all the inputs getting in, everything's being heard. And, uh, and I think a general thing that's true, again, in all aspects of life, but particularly around ADHD, where there's often been a lot of conflict and correction going on, is really try to filter from our language all the extra digs that may just trigger someone and just shut down conversation to begin with. The same thing goes during the conversation as well. And there's several things, one or, one or two of these we're going to come back to later again, is that when we're talking to someone with ADHD, again, somebody in here said something about a child having problems with multi-step requests. Well, some of it so that they don't feel like they're going to get talked down to and you're not asking you know, them to, um, they don't even need to know what's going on, can be on our end just simplifying things, you know, not making that multi-step request in the first place or giving a little bit of information and just leaving the rest of it for later. Um, a really simple for when things are really important thing to ask for once in a while. And again, watching our own tone and language is just, can you repeat that back to me? What did you understand of what I just said? That's a useful thing to say in almost any conversation. You know, what are you understanding about all this? Or what do you, you know, what do you think about all this? And I'm going to end with the idea of communication repair, but I did want to touch on it earlier as well, because I think it's a vital um, concept to fall back on as an adult living you know, with ADHD. It's really, again, this comes down to just communicating skillfully in life. Communication does not always go that well. You know, We can't expect perfection in any situation. But the concept of communication repair is recognizing that the follow-up to conversation is integrally part of the actual conversation. You know, recognizing that we got to give ourselves the space to say, I think I misspoke. And we got to give our kids a chance to say, like, did that, you know, just to check, come back in and just say, did that go well for you? Is there anything you want to add? Is there anything you want to say differently? Because again, when you double the communication stuff we're talking about, up against the emotional side of ADHD, you know, clearly a lot of conversations are going to get a little off the rails and we may never get to the point where they're going to go smoothly 100% of the time because that's not realistic of life in general. 